and hit it. Am I looking in there? Right, yeah. okay. Well. <laughs> first things first, happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> what do you do as a volunteer? Um, serve on the till, see to customers on the shop floor, tagging of clothes, hanging of clothes. I'll do some folding as well, Stephen. Whatever's wanted, I will do. I'm taking a gap year right now and I just want as many experiences as I can. I was looking for a job but I wasn't having any luck. Uh, and then me and my friend walked past and she noticed that there was wanting volunteers here so we came in and I asked. I came to this city as, a, as an asylum seeker. I realised I didn't have much to do because I wasn't allowed to work yet. So I found a way of giving back. The diagnosis was Stagel Syndrome. It's a rare condition and I had problems with mental health issues and speech impairment problems. So it helps me develop better. So I can understand more about English and things like that. Um, in September 2019, um, I lost my husband very suddenly. Um, we'd been together 46 years and I was just at a complete loss. I needed something. Excluding the pandemic, can you guess the total number of visits our shops receive nationwide each year? Probably a number I can't even comprehend. Oh, maybe 50,000 or 1 million? Well, it must be millions then. It's got to be. Five. Ten. Twenty million. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> if I needed help, I'd hope someone would be there. I may only be working in a charity shop, but I could be potentially helping someone. A lot of people would look at a charity shop and go, it's a charity shop. But then one person might look at a charity shop and go, that's the clothes I need for my kids for school, or like, that's money back to the community. Some people actually come into the shops just to be happy. That's a kind of a mental health support in a way. Like, not even just in the shop, in like the entirety of like the British Red Cross, like, you don't judge people based on like this and that, you, you, you're here to help everyone. Yes, yeah, so we have to address the mannequins. This is going to be fun. What do you think, CJ? If everyone was a carbon copy of everybody else, like, it, the world would be so dull. Like, you've got to have differences. Everybody's, first of all, a human being. We're all human, everyone's the same. I think it's important to get everyone involved. It'd be nice to see on the top of the umbrellas, like some big bows. And you could do a few balloons, because I, I did notice there is some balloons on the, the desk there. And then maybe do like love and then fall there and then yeah. all under it. Happy Pride. It's definitely given me a little bit more confidence to talk to like, yeah, like strangers in the street and yeah, I think that'll help me a lot when it comes like further down the line. It helps me grow deep inside myself, so it helps me to go, be able to talk to customers and people because I wasn't able to talk to anyone before. It's been an absolute lifeline for me. Sounds like it's been amazing. Best thing I ever did. <laughs>